With the rise of artificial intelligence usage in all disciplines and fields of study, it's important to know how it will affect you when you apply for a job. The UWC and the Graduate School presents Writing Your Resume in the Wake of AI Screeners, What to Avoid and How to Avoid It. According to Emily Heaslip of Vervo.com, a recent report from Harvard, Harvard Business School found that top candidates are becoming more hidden to recruiters than ever before. This is due to the rise of AI screeners. What does AI screener mean and why should I care? AI screeners or AI driven applicant tracking systems are ways for employers to organize and filter large amounts of data from prospective employees, including resumes, cover letters, applications, etc. ATS are the first filter your resume will go through before it reaches any actual people. As ATS are being used more and more, it is vital to know how to get past the AI screener to get your resume in the hands of your potential employers. There are three major components an AI screener is looking at when it is reading your resume. Here's how it works. Keyword matching. ATS look for specific keywords that match the job description. Formatting sensitivity. Resumes with complex formatting, such as graphics or unusual fonts, can confuse ATS. And finally, scoring and ranking. Many ATS score resumes based on how well they match the job description, then rank candidates accordingly. Only the top scoring resumes move forward in the process. It's important to remember, though, that there are ways to abide by the ATS while still presenting a stellar resume. Here are three tips to keep in mind. Keep it simple. Use standard fonts, bullet points, and clear headings. Avoid images, tables, and other elements that might not be parsed correctly by ATS. Include a skills section. A dedicated section that lists your relevant skills can help ATS easily identify your qualifications. Avoid abbreviations. Spell out acronyms and abbreviations, as the ATS might not recognize them. For example, write search engine optimization instead of SEO if the job description uses the full term. Let's look at an example of a resume in ATS rejected and one it accepted. Here's Linda Miller's first resume. As you can see, she used lots of color and interesting formatting to make her resume pop. Here's the issue though. All of the red circles indicate errors for the ATS. She should not use the picture. She should make sure she uses black ink on a white background and she should not play too much with the formatting when she is listing her previous occupations. Finally, she should not include her references on the resume. There are places to fill that in when you apply for a job. Here's Linda's edited version of her resume. She made sure to change the background to white and the ink of the text to black. She did not include her references. She removed her picture and her formatting is very consistent throughout the document. If you need assistance with your resume, please be sure to contact the Writing Center. Thanks for watching.